and I'm here today to share with you guys uh, tips and tricks on how we keep our house sort of organized. In particular, like the kids' storage stuff. And if you have kids, you know exactly what I'm talking about. His kids' toys end up everywhere. You are stepping on Lego like 10 hundred times a day. And it drives me bananas because I feel like we go out of our way to find toys that are safe for our children and we forget about our own feet when we step on them. But regardless, I wanted to share with you guys some things that we do in our house and keeping kind of the kids' toys orderly and put away because we have a very open concept home. So we want everything to kind of have a place, still look like it's part of the decor, but it's still easy access for the kids to play. But at the same time, when company comes over, we're gonna like shove everything away and just looks clean and pristine. So I hope you guys like this video. If you wanna see more of these types of tips and tricks videos on organization and things like that, give this video a thumbs up. Maybe I can do some stuff around like kitchen organization, bedroom, closet, I don't know. Whatever you guys wanna see, let me know. And without further ado, Let's get into this. So first of all, find furniture pieces that are multi-purpose, meaning that you can use them for kids' toys, but you can also use them for other things down the road when your kids grow a little bit older and things like that. Um, so for me, that would be like the IKEA console tables, the sofa tables, whatever you want to call them. I think these are awesome. I have one behind me that I actually use for makeup, and I have two downstairs that I use for various things um, for the kids' toys. We have these little baskets that slot in, and it keeps everything organized. So I have them sort of sorted by like, you know, the big Legos, the foam blocks. I have things that are Julia's toys and then I have Luke's toys and then anything that are like smaller little things like Julia's little My Little Ponies, I have on the upper smaller shelves and those are kind of stored away so that she has easy access to them and she knows exactly where they are. Now that's because I know the types of kids that my kids are and they like to be, well, <laughs> I shouldn't say they both do. Julia likes to be clean and organized and she will help me put everything away. So having those little boxes for little things that she enjoys using works really well for us. I also like the use of the baskets because then you can transition them to various parts of the house if you wish. Like, so for example, if I wanna watch Luke from the kitchen, if I'm cooking lunch or dinner or whatever, I can pull out one of those baskets and put it in plain sight so I can see him and he just likes to take out the toys and play with them and put them back in, take them out. Like, it's just a fun and easy way to kind of move the kids to where you need them to be. And then it's just like really easy to kind of put things together and throw them under and put them away and they're out of the way they look like they're part of the decor and I just really like this particular setup the other thing that we have is this padded coffee table slash ottoman kind of thing we got this from Costco um, a couple of years ago and it's great because it has these like little um, like buckets inside of each one and for us we put like toys and stuff but you could put anything um, moving forward in there so it could be like um, serving stuff for parties. You could put just different um, seasonal uh, decor items in there. But they're great because the tops are padded on top and they have a nice like tray underneath so you can use them for drinks or whatever underneath and kind of flip them over as you need. But I love this piece. It works super, super well in our home and it's just an awesome, awesome way to organize the kids' toys. Another trick that I have is having toys on constant rotation. So this is a little bit of a chore. Like I do this probably once a season season I want to say um, because I feel like our kids have so many toys to play with and it just it feels a little just overwhelming to have so much at, at all access all at once and so having some stored away down in the basement ones that they don't play with often and then kind of swapping them out with the ones they do play with often every season just keeps everything fresh and new and exciting and then you're not constantly having to like buy new toys that there's they get like bored with stuff and it's also a great way as your kids get older to transition out of the toys that they're no longer using that they're too big for things like that and we'll just kind of put them away downstairs for like baby down the road and things like that um, but yeah that that works really well for me and it just makes sure that the clutter doesn't get overwhelming. My next tip is for organizing all of their art supplies because I started with just using like a little dollar store bin and then it started overflowing and then it became like the entire shelf within like a bookshelf. It was nuts. So what I ended up doing is using a shower caddy like you know those like little bins that have the handle in between and just putting like little cups. You can use plastic cups. If your kids are older you could use those little uh, glass canning jars and just using 
that to kind of put away their markers, their pencils, their crayons. Then you can have a little slot for paper or their coloring books, things like that. And it's all the way, it's all in one area. And when you want to pull it out, you can just pull out the entire caddy and it's all right there. It also makes it a lot easier for them to put things away too, because they're all, there's like a specific area for everything. I don't know, for me, I just find it easier being like, okay, this goes here and this goes here versus like me having my own organization system or like throwing everything away. They just don't learn. And so for me, this just works really, really well, which leads me into my next point in terms of teaching kids that everything has a home and not just letting everything accumulate, get out on the floor everywhere. And it doesn't need to be something that's not really fun to do and a chore. It can be fun too. And you can make it like a fun exercise. Like for example, you can make it really fun. We can do things that are like timed and you have to try and race to get as many toys away as you possibly can in the time frame that is allotted. Or we have like the baskets, like the baskets that I talked about earlier, we'll put them out and then you have to like toss the toys in. And so we'll be counting how many toys each kid can get in or, you know, versus me and we'll see who wins, things like that. Um, and then just knowing where everything goes. So Julia knows she has her toy kitchen and she has like a little dollar store bin and that's where all of her food goes and the, um, you know, the pots and pans go underneath. Like she has a place for everything and we've walked through it and it feels like it's like mommy's kitchen and mommy's stuff all goes away in certain places and hers does too. So she likes the similarities there and we can clean up our kitchens either together or, you know, we're each have our own kitchen and we're like cleaning them together. It's just a fun exercise and she really enjoys it. So that works really well, but knowing where everything belongs and teaching your children to put away things is a really good exercise to start from the very beginning. Luke is terrible at it. He's one and a half. He does not do a really good job at it as expected, he's one and a half. But he also gets a lot of praise for putting things away, which he really likes. So he practices with us, he'll put things away, he'll dump them out again probably 30 seconds later, but he does take them and put them away and he gets a lot of praise for that and I will continue to build on that as he gets older. My next tip is regarding baskets, like the big, almost like laundry bin sized baskets and have them everywhere. I feel like there's a theme with this particular video. Basically, you need to have baskets all over your house in varying sizes to hold all of the children's toys. But for these, we have like three or four of these white kind of wicker handled baskets in Julia's room. Um, and we keep those for like her, her princess tiaras and stuff for her stuffed animals. When we even have like a little purple one that's for Luke's toys, which we keep in Julia's room in case I'm like getting Julia dressed in the morning and getting her ready. Cause she takes a little bit longer than say Luke because she's practicing like getting herself dressed. So I have a little toy bin of his own. So he has all his toys there and we can put them all away and keep them out of the way. And again, it just, everything has a home and these bins are so awesome because then we can move them around. And as she gets older, they can be used for different things and I don't know I just find them to be incredibly useful but I like I really like bins though like I my entire life is basically in dollar store bins all of them my next tip is regarding nursery room organization so if you're running out of floor space to put things if you don't have a lot of drawer space accessible for diapers and things like that I highly recommend getting sort of a mounted um, caddy to hold all of these things I find it personally really helpful and I do have drawers available because I like that they're right there they're slotted in they it looks like really nice and neat and organized. I have their um, like creams and things out. It's just everything's right there. You can have hooks on there, which I use for their jackets and stuff to take them outside. Um, I'm thinking of actually getting another little caddy to put in little loose toys um, for them to play with to keep them distracted while I'm changing diapers because let's be honest, that's always an issue. Just making use of wall space wherever you can is a great idea. I know they have like half mounted like um, baskets that you can like mount to the wall to keep books in. Like there's so many different different ideas and I highly recommend making use of that space. Another tip that I have is just keeping in mind the different motivation that your kids may have to getting things cleaned up. So Julie and I are similar in that we, it, I don't know, it's kind of draining to have all the chaos around with the toys scattered everywhere. So we'll put on some music. It'll be mommy and Julia time. We'll put away our toys. We'll talk about like my little ponies things and it's just a fun exercise and we both enjoy doing it and we feel a lot better after it versus Luke cares for none of that. But he does really like to run around, so I motivate him by like, if we put everything away, we'll have more space to run around. So the faster he put things away, the faster he gets to like go and like run around the space because I don't know, even as a kid, I remember that, like when the space is cleared, being able to like run laps around the room was pretty exciting. So just keeping in mind that and using that as a way to encourage your kids to clean up is a great idea. And the last one I wanted to mention, and again, it kind of feeds into the theme of this 
this particular video, but I wanted to mention it because it's related to sort of outdoor activities and things, but we have this bookshelf that's by our um, back door, so we use that to house some like plastic bins, which will keep all the outdoor activities, so like balls and bubbles and chalk and things like that that are for the outdoors. That way we can just bring out bins as we need them and they're plastic so if they get dirty or whatever they can just go like go back in there and they're easy to clean out and again I just like it. We keep them out of the way and they're kind of closed off underneath the bookshelf which again just makes it look much neater and more pristine. I mean like once you open it it's a disaster most of the time but when they're closed the doors are closed and you can't see any of the mess which is a theme for, for my home. It's like you close the door and pretend it's not there. But that is another thing that works really well for us and we can kind of move them from the front yard to the backyard if we need to and kind of go back and forth as needed and uh, yeah that just is something we enjoy doing. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of these organization tips and tricks types of videos and if you guys have any requests let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful wonderful weekend so far and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.